Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. What's up? The world's gone crazy, but I haven't. I mean, not more than normal. So, remember that fin fleece from August? I unboxed it and washed it on my channel back then. I think it was in August, because I was trying to make sure I got it done before we had to shut down the outdoor water. Well, I never put it away. It's been on the drying rack since then, just kind of like shoved out of the way. So I grabbed it. I'm gonna use that to make a tweed yarn with Sari Silk. I have this sampler. So I have this sampler with all these different colors. And I really wanna make a tweed hat and scarf set. So I'm gonna pull out some of that fin, pick one of these and make enough fiber, bat, whatever to make a hat and a scarf, maybe even mittens, who knows. I pulled out a couple colors, but I haven't picked a winner yet. I'm gonna quick show them to you though. I really want the tweed to be a multicolor tweed, so I'm gonna pick one of these that already has like multicolors in it. I'm kind of excited. I haven't done a tweed in a while. I don't even really know for sure if it's gonna be for me because my coats are all black pretty much. And so, well, I do have a burgundy one. I don't know, but I want to do it. Yeah, I don't know. What color are we going to pick? I, I'm leaning towards this one, but I think this one will pop against the gray more. It's like a really dark charcoal. In fact, I may even do one of each, but let's do it. I mean, I have so many good colors in here. Obviously, this is like Trish color. Look at that one. Hello, that would be really pretty. And then if I was gonna do one that was more Christmassy themed, I think I'd go with this one. So, and then I have this too. So I could combine them and really go flat, straight up Christmas themed. I might do that someday. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is weigh out some fin. I'm gonna go ahead with eight ounces cause I think that's what I'm gonna need for this much spinning. Oh wow. It's gonna go over a little bit, I'm gonna go with it. Yep. The first thing I'm gonna do with these for the tweed is go ahead and run them through the carter, I think just once, and then I'll start blending in the tweed. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then we'll be back when I'm adding in the silk. Okay, so I ended up with two pretty big bats, although they're just really fluffy. Now I'm just trying to decide what color I wanna go with. I mean, this one's gonna be really bright against there, and I think what I actually want is something a little bit more subtle. It's still a lot of color, but it's gonna be a little more subtle. I'm gonna come in a little closer so you can really see what. Now I'm gonna use a pretty hefty amount of silk. What I'm actually gonna do is I wanna make sure I'm interspersed with the silk pretty evenly, so I'm gonna run each of these through with silk, and then what I'll do is split each bat in half so that half of the first one goes with half of the second one every time after that. So I'm gonna do a total of three passes through. I hope that makes sense, but I think I'm gonna use this. This one is called Technicolor and it sure has a lot of color.
wanted to show you guys. This is one pass with silk. Isn't that cool? Okay, I had to get in some weird light. This is the first one, it's all done. I'm not sure how it's gonna look to you guys, but it's gorgeous. I just pulled off a strip. It's actually a lot darker than what you're seeing because I pulled a strip because it's reflecting a lot more light. And my intention is to spin it long draw, but I'm gonna see how it goes because I really feel like I have to kind of let the fiber tell me what it wants to do or I'm fighting it the whole time and I don't wanna fight it the whole time. So I'm gonna, I think it's gonna be fine, but we're just gonna give her a shot. I have been trying to decide between this ball and this one. <laughs> so this one has a loop and then this one has a snap. I've decided to go with this one only because the hat is not truly black black and I think having the black ball against it just kind of like punctuates that a little bit more. <laughs> All you have to do is sew the bottom of the snap to the hat, right here. Yeah, right here. And I'm about to do that and then we'll be done. All you do is sew the female part of the snap, which is what I've got in my hand here, to the hat wherever you want it. I want it right in the middle. And you sew it through the four little holes around the outer edge of the snap. So I'm just gonna hold it here. I've already threaded a ginormous needle. Look how big this is. Unnecessary, but I pulled it out of my um, pin cushion and it just kept coming out. So no problem. So I'm going through the hat and then up through one of those holes 
and I'm holding it with my thumb right in the center. So I will link the pattern, but isn't it cute? And let me get in close so you can really see the tweed. I think it's actually really cute and I am not a fan of myself in a lot of hats. Like I always end up looking like the purple pieman from Strawberry Shortcake. You guys know who he is, right? I swear, 90% of the hats I knit end up making, look, making me look crazy. Hi. <sighs> But I actually, I thought I like this one. This is, so here's the reason too. I don't know if it's my knitting because my gauge always does, if anything, tend to be slightly on the big side. I just, I'm a loose knitter. But like this hat had a whole nother repeat of 12 rows, 14 rows, six. Yeah, 14, this hat had a whole nother 14 row repeat and I feel like it would have been like, I don't, how would that fit? It fits now, it comes almost down to my eyebrows. Like, where would all those repeat, where would all that go? So, I don't know. Maybe I have a weird head, could that be? So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it inspires somebody. The Sari Silk is available in my Etsy shop in sampler sizes for a really good price. Feel free to vote. Do you, would you rather see the red or this, what I kind of think of as like a super preppy mix, the hot pink and green and gold. Or honestly, this one too. Which one, if I was gonna do another one next, what would you do? Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. I hope you're having a great November. I know not every country is getting ready for Thanksgiving, but mine is. Also, you guys, I have to thank you. Your support for my Etsy shop has been crazy. I just really appreciate you guys' support. It has kind of warmed my heart. And one of you brought a dang tear to my eye with your review. I was, I literally teared up. I was like, wow, that was so awesome. So thank you, Lisa. I know for a lot of people, what's going on right now in like every way is so stressful and upsetting and i know people feel a lot of people feel really bad i hope this video got you out of your head for a little while made you happy made you smile how could it not make you smile look at this face he's so cute as soon as i stop he's like put your hands back on me so I hope you guys are doing well and everybody's healthy. I'm thinking about you guys.